Today we're going to look over our homework from yesterday. We'll do our notebook page together. We'll do practice problems. We'll go over those and then we'll work on our homework. So go ahead and get your math books open to page 187. And we'll take a look at numbers 1 through 6 and 11 on this side and then we'll look at the back. Alright, number 1. You need it to round to 30 and a 10. And that would equal 300. Number two, you need to round up to 30 and up to 20, multiplying together to get 600. Three, you should have rounded to 50 and to 10 to get 500 when you multiply them together. Four, you should have rounded down to 40 times down to 20 is 800. Five, you should have rounded up to 50 and up to 20 for 1,000. And six, you should have uh, rounded down to 30 and up to 50 for 1,500. All right, then on the back, or down below, number 11, you need to figure out if it was reasonable or not reasonable. Well, we round up to 40, multiply, 37 also rounds up to 40, should be 1,600. Now, those are not within a few hundred, okay? So this is not reasonable, not reasonable. All right, then on the back, you had three problems, 17, 18, and 19. 17 wanted to know if his estimate is reasonable, so it's a lot like number 11 over there. And you should have found no, because 51 and 37 would round to 50 and 40, and if we multiply those rounded numbers together, we get 2,000, and 1,500 is not to close to 2,000, so it's not reasonable. And 18, you had to multiply 28 times 40, but you needed to round, and 40 was already nice and even, so you needed to round 28 up to 30. 30 times 40 would get you about 1,200 eggs. And 19, you should have done 14 times 28 and rounded both numbers to be 10 times 30 to get about 300 fish. 300 fish. All right, so go ahead and put your math book away and get your notebook and your worksheet out for today. Remember, if you need to pause the video for more work time that is okay or to rewatch parts, you can definitely do that. So, Today, we're going to expand our thinking of multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers. Today, we're going to use arrays and partial products, so, kind of like when we did it with um, the four by, or, yeah, four by one. Now, we're going to do it with two by two, but we're going to have four boxes first. So, what we're going to draw is four different rectangles, kind of like what we did yesterday, too. But we're going to do it a little different. So, I'm going to do number one, following through the directions. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I just like to split it like a window into four. And then I need to split my factors into tens and ones, also known as that expanded form. I'm going to write my factors on the sides of the rectangles. So now I come down here and I look at 24 first. And to break that into expanded form would be 20 plus 4. Then I do it with my 13. That would be 10 plus 3. I try and put my pluses on those lines to keep my numbers in the middle of the boxes. Now I'm going to multiply the factor on the left by the factor on the top. And I write that inside. Okay, so I do 10 times 20. Well, this is like that what we've been working on, that mini math packs. So I can do this nice and fast because I see 2 times 1 is 2 and then 2 zeros. Don't lose those skills. Now I'm going to repeat 3 times because I have 3 more boxes. So I always use the one on the left by the one on top. So now I'm going to do, so sometimes I like to write it inside to help too. 10 times 4. Well, this is what we did a long time ago. 10 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and add 1, 0 is 40. Now for this bottom one, I do 3 times what's on top, 20. It's 
3 times 2, I see. It. I know is 6, and add 1, 0, is 60. And for this last one, I do my left. 3 times what's on top? 4. 3 times 4, or 4 times 3, gets us 12. All right. So I repeated that three times. Now I add the partial products. So I have 200, 40, 60, and 12. Now I always want to add from ones to hundreds, right? Zero, 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 two is two. Four, six, one. Let's see, six plus four is 10. Oops, sorry, my page kind of low. There we go. Six plus four is 10 and one more is 11. One plus two is three. So my product is 312. All right, let's try one more together. Now if I forget the steps, I can always look back up here. All right, so the first thing it tells me to do is draw four rectangles. So I'm gonna draw a big rectangle and split it into four parts. Next, I need to split my factor into tens and ones. So 14. I know it's 10 plus 4. And 21 is 20 plus 1. All right. Now I multiply the left times the top. So 20 times 10 equals 2 times 1 is 2 and add two zeros. That's 200. And we keep going. 20 left times top 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and add 1, 0 is 80. Number on the left, 1, times the number up top is 10. 1 times 10, oh, 10. And I take the number on the left, 1, times the number on top, 4. 1 times 4 is 4. All right, I repeat it. Now I add my partial products. All right, now I have 200. I have 80, 10, and 4. Notice, make sure your numbers still line up by place value because we're going to add and we need them to line up nice and neat. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 and plus 4 is 4. 8 plus 1 plus nothing is 9. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So this answer, this product, is 294. Notice how I went through into my box expanded my numbers, and then just multiplied across, okay? This is like uh, when we did it by each place, uh, when we did it by the single digits, but we're just putting it into a box to organize it. All right, so I want you to try the array and partial products method on problems one, two, three, and four, okay? And uh, we will go over just the answers. I'm not going to go through the work problems on those because we did it over here. I want to see you do the work problems over here. All right, well, unpause the video when you are ready to check your answers. All right. <laughs> Number one, you should have gotten 14 times 12. And if you expanded it out, you should have gotten 10 times 10, 4 times 10, 10 times 10, and 2 times 4. And you should have added up your partial products to get 168. All right, you should have gotten 18 times 18. All right, you know what, let's go through and do the expanded way on this, just to make sure you did it right. All right, so 10 plus 8, 10 plus 8, so 10 times 10, left times top, is 100. 10 times 8 is 80. 8 times 10 is the same as 10 times 8, so I know that that's 80. And 8 times 8 is 64. So if we add 180, 80, and 64 together, we should get 4, 
8 plus 8 is 16, plus 6 more will get us 22, and 2 plus 1 is 3, 324 for that product. All right, for number 3, show a major square or rectangle, split it into fourths. 10 plus 5 and 10 plus 3. 10 times 10 equals 100. 10 times 5 equals 50. 10 times 3 equals 30. And 5 times 3 equals 15. 150, 30, and 15. Line up your partial products. Add them together. It's 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 195 for that product. All right, one more to go. <laughs> we needed to expand our partial product. Okay, and we should have gotten 20 plus 4, and then 10. 6 and done um, 10 times 20, which is 200, 10 times 4, which is 40, 6 times 20 seems really scary, but we can do 6 times 2 to get 12 and add a 0 for 120. And then 6 times 4 is 24. And then I add up our partial products. Now I know 40 comes next, but I'm going to write 120 next because it's bigger. And I'll do my 40 and then my 24. Because when we add or multiply, remember, we can change the order. 0, 0, 0, 4. 2, 4, 2. Let's see, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So this product was 384. All right, and how did that go for us? Feeling okay? The biggest thing is to remember to slow down and make sure you're doing your math facts right. And they use that Henny Midden math fact trick when you're multiplying by a multiple of 10. Let's take a look at our homework for today. You're going to do page 181. And, which is actually back from where we were yesterday. We're jumping around in our chapter a little bit. So page 181, numbers 3 through 7, which are on the bottom. And uh, 3 through 6 are on the bottom of page 181, and number 7 is on page 182. And then number 10 also. Number 10 is a little tricky. There's a few different steps you need to do there. Think through what the question wants you to find out. There's a few different parts you're gonna need to use. All right, let me know if you have questions. Take care and good luck, have fun.